What's up YouTube? It's Tyler here, The Ape Coach. Uh, we're back again for another update video. This is episode 13, leading up to the Toronto Pro Show, June 5th and 6th. And we're 10 days out now. It's, uh, it's getting a lot more real. It's getting a bit more intense, but uh, it's super exciting. Uh, so, yeah, in terms, of, in terms of changes and stuff, training is still pretty much the same. Um, you know, we, uh, we kind of switched up. We're not going for like PR lifts anymore, but we're still doing, you know, progressive loads and, uh, you know, heavy weights. And in regards to that, I've been getting, you know, I, I get a lot of questions and that about, uh, you know, during my contest prep, like leading up to the show, there's so many like misconceptions and, you know, beliefs out there about, you know, how you're supposed to prep for a show and train and all this stuff and so you know I've been getting questions like oh well you know when do you uh, when do you switch up your training routine when do you stop lifting heavy or um, oh how far out from the show do you stop working out like when do you stop working out before the contest and the answer to both of those is I don't um, you know we keep lifting heavy all the way up until the show uh, keep training pretty much the same by, you know, I don't stop working out. If you've been training one way and lifting heavy and like pushing yourself and doing this for months and months leading up to a show, why in the last few weeks would you suddenly completely change up your, your entire workout routine and the way you train? That, that just doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you need the heavy lifts still to keep the muscle density, keep the fullness. You know, a lot of guys, they'll suddenly switch up and they'll just start doing like five sets of 20 reps of every exercise and when they're flat on stage and they don't have that fullness they don't know what happened it's because you cut out all the heavy lifts you still need to stimulate those muscles to their you know max potential you still need to push yourself during your workouts regardless if you're coming up to a show or not that's how you're going to look the best even if you look back into you know other bodybuilding guides and like things like that if you look into you know Arnold's training philosophy and that he says you know in his sort of plan or whatever um, you know he says you have to keep heavy lifts in there at least you know once a week he actually did um, PRs like once every couple weeks kind of thing because he said like that was the only way to keep that muscle density and that muscle fullness and he says uh, you can actually see that on stage, you know, the ones that include the heavy lifting, the ones that keep put, you know, keep lifting heavy, they have so much more thickness and density in their muscle rather than, you know, the guys that are just going straight for hypertrophy, just doing high rep, low weight kind of stuff. So, you know, that's the answer to that. I just wanted to cover that. Um, in terms of the macros, uh, we switched things up quite a bit. My, uh, my weight had kind of stalled for a couple weeks. So we actually bumped my macros up 20 grams a day um, and cut out five fat. And so that kind of helped fill my muscles back out because uh, I was flattening out a little bit. Um, helped fill that up. Gives me, you know, that strength, that extra energy to push during my workouts, keep the intensity high and uh, kind of rev the metabolism back up. And then now, you know, we've kind of dropped it down again. And this past weekend, we did a little kind of test uh, we did a depletion day on Friday, which was lower carb, lower fat, um, and then I had my refeed on Saturday. So that kind of mimics the whole show process where you deplete and then you carb load. Um, and that was just to kind of see how my body responded and how the weight reacted. And uh, after that depletion, I was down to 189. So, you know, the weight dropped a couple pounds, which was exactly what we wanted. And then when I refilled, back up to like 192 kind of thing. So um, everything's going on point for that. Now, being that we're only 10 days out, we're into daily macros and daily updates. So, you know, I'm doing pictures every day. We're adjusting the macros daily, um, depending on, you know, how the body's looking, how I'm feeling, all that kind of thing. And uh, cardio is still the same. So, you know, nothing super intense with that. Um, but that's pretty much everything. So I'll show you what I'm looking like now. And you know, it's, it's coming up soon. This is first thing in the morning, so I may not be as full, but, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. So So 
So, um, you know, that was just a really quick kind of glimpse at what I'm looking like now. Um, it's going to be changing a lot over these 10 days and especially before the show. Um, show day, it'll probably be, you know, a completely different physique than right now. But, uh, yeah, uh, everything's on point right now. Um, feeling good. We have dropped the carbs back down again. We're starting to taper down and, uh, really try and lean out, tighten up the obliques and everything. But, uh, overall I'm feeling good and I'm pretty excited for the show. So if you guys can make it out, June 5th and 6th, Friday night and Saturday morning, uh, Toronto Convention Center, the Toronto Pro Show. Come check it out. I'll be there on stage. Um, but yeah, that's everything. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. You know, it keeps me motivated to keep making more of these. Um, and I love hearing your feedback in that. And so if you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below. And uh, hit subscribe to stay updated with, uh, you know, how this contest prep is going. Um, I'll try and include some footage of the actual show itself. You know, give you guys a bit of... Uh, uh, view of the whole experience of it and uh, that's everything you know I'll probably be doing another one of these series leading up to the natural nationals end of August but uh, for now sights are set on the Toronto Pro Show so come and check it out it's gonna be a wicked show talk to you soon peace